Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to Amber Network Festival's today's seminar program. Uh, my name is uh, Ebru Yetişkin. I will be uh, moderating this seminar with um, Erkan Saka today. Um, let me first introduce uh, the, uh, and give you a, a brief introduction about the festival. Uh, and then present Arkan Saka. Uh, we will have a lecture uh, by Arkan Saka on uh, on techno solutions on disinformation. Um, so A21 Amber Network Festival is taking place in a very special time during the pandemic as a truly decentralized and international festival. So the festival takes place from March 10th uh, to May 16th, 2021 as a collective creation and creation process and performance with network members, some of which are uh, with us today, and the artists uh, we invite. So all events of, of uh, A21 will be hybrid. That means in various locations and online at the same time in Berlin and in the network nodes in Istanbul, in Izmir, in Tehran, in Shiraz, in Casablanca, uh, in Khartoum, Baalbek, Bishkek, and Cairo. I am really uh, proud of this uh, network and how um, how uh, it is dispersed uh, in, in, in our region. Uh, so co-curators, um, so the artistic directors and uh, are Ekmel Ertan from Amber Platform and Nina Martin from Oyun Berlin. So co Co-curators and lab leaders are Christoph uh, Watcher and Matthias Hut. Each city has its own network curator. The curator of Amber platform is me. And uh, A21 is produced by Oyun Berlin and in collaboration with Amber platform Istanbul, funded by Berlin Senate's Hauptstadt Kultur Fund. So uh, without further ado, let me give um, um, a brief introduction um, about our presenter today, about our uh, lecturer today, uh, about Arkan Saka. Uh, for those who um, who already know the works of Arkan Saka, but maybe for those who don't know, um, so we would like you to uh, get to know his work on this field. Um, so Arkan Saka um, um, is, uh, is an associate professor uh, of media and journalism studies at the School of Communication at Istanbul Bilgi University. And he is currently the head of the media department. And uh, he was recently a resource scholar at, uh, at anthropology at UC uh, University of California, Irvine in the fall of 2018 and science and technology studies which we share the same field of studies at MIT uh, in spring 2019. His recent and current research topics include citation journalism and social movements, online information and fact-checking and verification issues uh, which I'm sure he will um, indicate those topics today and digital web archiving and internet histories and ethnography of uh, cryptocurrency circles and uh, he's a long time political blogger as we know and we follow from arkansaka.net and the coordinator he's also the coordinator of a local tv show which we really like on social media socialkafa.net. He's the author of Social Media and Politics in Turkey, uh, a journey through citizen journalism, political trolling and fake news from Lexington Books, uh, which came up in 2019. So um, big data and gender biased uh, algorithm in the International of, uh, Encyclopedia of Gender, Media and Communication, uh, which is published by uh, Wiley Black, well, from New York. So, without further ado, uh, welcome, Arkan, and I give you the floor. Uh, th thank you. Uh, I'm honored to be here. Uh, uh, I feel like, you know, 
yeah i'm, I'm um, thank you for trusting me for such an issue also uh, let me let me say that um, uh, the title uh, maybe implies there are some solutions but i will not give you any solutions but i will just review uh, the attempts uh, attempts to for solutions uh, and uh, this is uh, this has become such a hot topic uh, in recent years probably uh, there are people there are scholars who are definitely more knowledgeable and um, uh, than i am uh, so uh, i am open to recommendations or critics uh, i've been doing some readings and also starting some research on the topic and uh, in the previous forms, not exactly this information, but uh, I've been uh, uh, interested in fact-checking issues uh, or uh, verification. At one point, we would uh, like to call verification more than fact-checking, but now it seems yeah. uh, it is settled. We only have fact-checking. Anyways, yeah. I will discuss what uh, what I'm, uh, I'm I'm referring here. Uh, so. Uh, and uh, in fact, there are you know, many aspects of uh, uh, the issue, this information, and uh, uh, huge uh, literature out there. And uh, uh, gradually, my interest, uh, maybe it in relation to uh, my uh, rising interest in STS studies, science and technology studies, uh, my interest has shifted to a particular aspect of this information, and that is, you know. Uh, 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 inquiries for uh, uh, solutions, technological solutions to this this, this uh, increasingly social problem, um, and uh, as as can be seen in in, in any emerging uh, problem, social uh, problem, which sometimes reaches to a moral panic, uh, first uh, comes some uh, uh, utopian technological solutions, then uh, we get disappointed. Uh, and see that uh, it it doesn't uh, uh, it will not solve it, fix it, uh, fix the problem easily, and then uh, we are looking for new solutions, uh, uh, techno solutions. And in the meantime, as scholars, we are more interested in uh, the evaluation, elaboration of these uh, uh, solution attempts. And uh, here we are. Um, uh, so I I will not really I cannot tell you that this will fix the this issue uh, but at least we can both discuss uh, how you know some uh, techno solutions are possible or have some potential to 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 this problem um, also of course uh, how to define the problem is an issue and uh, I, I don't think uh, we are always on the right spot about uh, uh, you know what we talk about uh, at least uh, uh, there is this uh, myriad of terms a, a, a terminological uh, sometimes ambiguity about what we imagine um, th there are some working uh, definitions like uh, this information is mostly about uh, intentional uh, harm harming uh, uh, at least uh, there is the, uh, the factor of intention, intention. Uh, on, yeah and on the other hand uh, misinformation is basically without that intention uh, mm -hmm. things get complicated uh, most of the time uh, but at least we have these working definitions and there is also the uh, malinformation uh, which is uh, uh, which we use it uh, you know uh, uh, sending a, a in fact truthful message information but uh, without the context so we mean to harm uh, some people or groups or uh, entities again uh, there is intention but this time with some uh, 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 not uh, manufactured uh, information, with the real information in a way, uh, but without the context, that's a problem too. And there are some others, and sometimes we confuse them. And uh, where is the conspiracy theory here? Or where, where are the uh, other uh, 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 issues like uh, propaganda or black propaganda? Uh, so I, I, I advise at least, uh, I, I believe at least that we need to have a more historical uh, background and uh, I will not start to tell you about the history here, just that uh, I, I, I would like to emphasize that there is a history behind. And, yes, uh, this, it's not a yeah. new phenomenon. Yeah, 
but of course, you know, some there is something new here too. So uh, there we can, you know, discuss. And Ebru, uh, please intervene anytime. Uh, I like the conversation style more in, in <laughs> lectures or presentations. <laughs> I mean it, you know, I told you. So, uh, of course, I, I thought that too. Uh, so why are we talking it again? Of course, there is there there is a, a historical moment, at least the election, election of uh, Donald Trump, I think, uh, 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 is, uh, is an issue. In fact, before Trump, it was already a problem for or in in some circles especially in, among digital activists or who are uh, interested in uh, people who are interested in digital communications we were you know sort of uh, always uh, assuming there was a problem about uh, 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 with the information and uh, but uh, of course there we need to have sometimes a popular uh, moment uh, that triggers uh, a rethinking or uh, or maybe uh, uh, make it uh, uh, to, uh, to mainstream so that uh, we can discuss more, uh, more productively. Uh, so the, the, but at least we should say that it isn't created from nothing. Uh, uh, the, the issue was there in other forms, in other terminology. Um, we, have, we had always this problem. And in Turkey, of course, we, we, we are very much used to this uh, totally fabricated news or information. Uh, but uh, this is beyond Turkey, and uh, maybe uh, at least uh, uh, because of some kind of quality journalism in in the West, especially, uh, uh, we began to think that um, this is now this uh, uh, information or misinformation is more peculiar to non non Western contexts. But again, with the the recent debates, we see that it's. Oh, it's out there everywhere and not uh, it, uh, it cannot be really uh, uh, bounded in non-western contexts uh, which is uh, already a problem uh, uh, dividing the world with like that but even if we tried it it it, it would fail uh, there comes of course uh, un, uh, unfortunately uh, digital communications unfortunately in the sense that i i always uh, uh, under uh, highlighted that i really love internet and uh, uh, I, it's hard for me to criticize anything about digital communications, but uh, uh, and you know I, I'm really aware of the digital uh, democratic potential, participatory culture uh, uh, it brings in, uh, and it it happened, and we had so many good examples of uh, uh, democratization of the information through internet and all. Uh, but it seems that not only the uh, the, the uh, good people, quote unquote, good people use internet, and in fact, uh, 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 not good people sometimes uh, can uh, uh, more creatively use digital communications. Uh, and uh, since digital communications uh, nearly uh, uh, prevented any any professionalism or any obstacles uh, to to for the, for an individual to create produce information to produce media content on internet so everyone uh, every group every ideology uh, uh, anyone can be in the, in in the internet which is which seems good but as you see as we all see uh, 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 not only uh, not all individuals are interested in democratizing the uh, uh, information or interest in social justice or etc uh, but uh, uh, some are more uh, harmful and uh, uh, not good uh, uh, they do not have good intentions there well, I, I should this, say that this is yeah. an ICS lecture let me let me uh, perhaps uh, give give some insight for the students um, sure according to one of the STS scholars for instance uh, according to Rudy Volti um, he defines technology not as a device, not as a techne, but as a way of organization. So technology gives us a uh, gives us a way of rethinking how we think and how what we do with the uh, technology. So um, so um, the distinction between I mean the technology and technological um, issues are always represented in, in in public understanding of science and technology either as utopic or as dystopic either as good or either as, or as bad 
either as evil <laughs> or as savior. So this way of thinking uh, technology, um, it doesn't, I mean, it, it reproduces problems that yeah. so, uh, become aware how these technologies work because um, since people are designing those technologies, their biases and uh, their, uh, their ways of thinking uh, are embedded within the design of technology. So I think maybe the, uh, the problem of disinformation, um, although it is, not a, it is not a new phenomenon, and um, I know that it is not a, the boundaries, uh, to say it with an, another, with an STS term, uh, the boundaries of the object that we study and we investigate is it's not demarcated yet and it's it has not reached at a point of closure in that sense but since we're dealing with disinformation as a technological problem uh, it is not um it is not a topic that uh, we have a concern either neither on the history of disinformation or yes uh, in quote, the solutions or the harms of uh, disinformation so rather uh, instead of these uh, I think we should we we should be more aware of how we use technology because we're not aware maybe we're spreading uh, and we're contributing the production of this information but um, once again maybe um, to, to elaborate more on your uh, on your argument on the definition of um, definition of this information, it has to be intentional, right? So yes. that is that 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 sounds like the boundary line of uh, of making the distinction between misinformation or information or disinformation about how we uh, how we want to use the. <laughs> Yes, uh, I mean, uh, as a working definition, I am I'm hesitating to uh, uh, about all the definitions here, as you can guess, but for now. And, uh, you know, while I was describing this good and evil, of course, that's also so, sort of, uh, I was just sort of, um, how can I say, uh, 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 quoting uh, the, the thinking of popular masses. I mean, even in some cases, uh, I, I'm not sure who is the good one or bad one. Uh, so <laughs> I'm not, uh, I'm not pushing it. You know, like I'm not saying exactly this is good, this is evil. Just that you know, uh, people first thought, at least digital activists of many sorts thought that, you know, uh, oh, okay, this is a good tool. Uh, again, maybe a, a, a wrong thinking. You know, uh, thinking the technology as a tool, here, uh, and so. Uh, uh, we can do good, good stuff, democratization and all. But then, you know, um, uh, we see it uh, uh, as the diversification of uh, actors, uh, uh, as as many others join. Uh, we see that it's complicated the outcomes, and uh, uh, there at least, you know, you know the thing is sometimes even with intention, uh, 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 some people may think they are doing good jobs. You know, they have good intentions. But they are, uh, the outcome is uh, disinformation for many others. So uh, at some uh, 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 advanced point, we will need to re re rethink all the definitions. But for the moment, let's let's yeah. say it, it works. Uh, and there, of course, you know this amplification with uh, social media, especially uh, maybe with the next stage in internet, let's say. Uh, and the, the the entrance of every any individual uh, for the content uh, uh, making, uh, uh, so we now have a, 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 the problem again. I mean, yes, it was always there historically, so we shouldn't be too, totally surprised, shocked. But at the same time, with these with the organization of technology in in such a way that uh, we are encountering a new level of the disinformation problem uh, with this. Uh, uh, amplification issue maybe there uh, uh, of course which because it's a new technology media technology and because it's caused by this technology again you know uh, we get, we attribute agency but not we shouldn't maybe uh, so there is the uh, uh, so the, the first ideas uh, just pop up that you know okay so we need a kind of another a, a technological solution so that we can fix this 
problem which was caused with the new technology. Uh, so there come some solutions or uh, attempts to solutions. And in the meantime, of course, there are many ways to categorize this. And uh, I have my own, I will list uh, what I observe as some main issues here, but uh, you can add always new issues. Uh, as I say, it's such an open-ended process now. So for instance, let's say algorithms. You know, in the very beginning, uh, it's uh, very connected with the big data, of course. Again, this was a, a sort of savior in many senses that, you know, now we have big data, we don't need research methods, for instance, someone will say, now we have the, we, do, we don't need the, the problem of sampling uh, because, you know, big data is out there, so we don't need a sample. We can just collect the data of all populations, which uh, proved to be not a good idea and uh, which <laughs> proved to be wrong. Uh, so we still need sampling, uh, maybe with some, you know, new issues, but uh, yes, big data is out there. And so since we, we get the data, uh, then, you know, we can uh, uh, act accordingly and we can uh, uh, find some solutions for this. Uh, which, and so algorithms are fed by big data. So if we, if we code the algorithm uh, uh, in, a, in such a way, uh, then we, will, we can uh, 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 fix many of the social issues. Uh, I'm nowadays I'm interested in uh, uh, in predictive predictive uh, algorithms, for instance, which uh, most uh, citizens will just uh, you know uh, if I say minority report movie, uh, everyone will uh, understand what I mean. Uh, that fiction became a, a, a non-fiction in in the last decade, uh, and like Chicago Police Department was the one of the first ones to use a sort of predictive algorithm, uh, invested a lot. Uh, and so they they try to uh, sort of uh, predict who who the guilty one will be, uh, which uh, proved not very successful. Uh, as, as of this moment, uh, most of the police departments are uh, uh, rethinking their strategies of using predictive algorithms or predictive policing uh, uh, algorithms. Uh, uh, but uh, this, uh, but they are not really uh, uh, giving up all the uh, data usage still. Uh, I, I should say, in another context, like uh, you know, just in order to uh, fix the inequality in sentencing uh, in the judiciary processes, again, big data was used, for instance, uh, so that you know anyone with this uh, with the same crime will get the same uh, amount of sentencing, maybe. Then it it seemed that it didn't work properly too. You know, when I say it didn't work, that doesn't mean it, uh, we, we should just give up. But, uh, uh, you know, we uh, humans always work on uh, uh, revising the tools or instruments. Uh, uh, but for the moment, uh, it didn't provide always the proper uh, uh, results. Why? Now, then the question comes, uh, uh, the, the biggest question there is big data. So who is producing the, the data? It seems that this uh, objective, uh, uh, supposedly objective mathematical truths are not really uh, out there existing uh, 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 without human intervention. And the moment uh, hum uh, uh, we, we figure out uh, the uh, data production uh, by humans, uh, yes, we begin to revise those data productions, uh, but it's not an easy process. And uh, we, you, you probably, most of the, the friends here, audience, uh, all, all, all heard about the stories or some an anecdotal uh, examples of, you know, how uh, big data leads to very misleading results uh, from Amazon's credit card, uh, uh, no, Apple's, I think, uh, uh, failure to Google's Google photo scandal and all. Uh, so uh, uh, now we uh, we try to figure out uh, uh, how to deal with big data, and also of course comes the uh, other agents, that is, um, uh, uh, who 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 are the coders, uh, uh, and it seems that uh, there is no not much diversification in uh, in those coders, which we now call sometimes uh, you know Silicon Valley uh, ethos. Uh, so most of the uh, relatively young white uh, male uh, coders 
with all good intentions uh, ended up uh, producing very uh, biased uh, software in right. many and it's exactly what i mean with yeah. intentions and you know yeah. what i mean <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> uh, so now people are f trying to figure out uh, uh, how to uh, deal with this i mean uh, there we need some uh, mal uh, diversification there too uh, uh, and you know this problem is now exactly seen in the artificial intelligence studies because uh, when uh, big data comes after after big data you know comes algorithms and then comes uh, artificial intelligence they are very much connected and uh, the same issues are replicated reproduced and uh, we see that for instance google's uh, ai uh, uh, uh department has some problems like they fired uh, uh, some critics there uh, uh, that became a big news uh, uh, last month and uh, uh, there uh, we see more about uh, we see here more about initiatives or uh, some writings on ai ethics uh, and but this is sort of a combined issue like from big data to artificial intelligence uh, uh, we have this uh, 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 bias problems by their makers or by their uh, by the data uh, we have because you know also sometimes data is collected uh, before the coders that data is from many archives uh, uh, and those are always you know uh, are biased in one way or another like if you use uh, uh, police data uh, for the predictive algorithms you know police is all notorious with uh, policemen are notorious with uh, how they uh, really create data, stuff like that. Uh, so, if you want to use, uh, and why I'm telling this, because like at some point Facebook said, you know, uh, it will use uh, artificial intelligence uh, to struggle with uh, uh, disinformation or misinformation uh, uh, in, it, in, it, in its platform, which is, you know, a, a good attempt maybe, but uh, uh, when you just uh, uh, fire uh, humans and or when you are not really uh, helping assisting uh, the humans human moderators but instead you are employing some uh, AI software it doesn't uh, uh, seem to fix the problem yes I mean the thing is you know if it as I try to say uh, it helps uh, and uh, let me say uh, what I will say in the conclusion part we need hybrid models and assemblages with uh, humans and you know humans and humans and uh, uh, non-humans have to uh, work together uh, in a in a proper assemblage you know otherwise I'm just you know say that i'm looking for those days that i could have the moderator so that i won't yeah. i wouldn't be defined as the moderator so that i can teach the moderating task so yeah. that we can work together <laughs> hopefully hopefully you know think think of every think of uh let's say i it may not be the best example but uh, at least in some specific uh, uh, fields uh, it, it seems to be working like think of a wordpress uh, uh, blog comments yeah. uh you know akismet it's called mm -hmm. akismet i think that's that thing is really effective i mean yes it's trained well in a very specific uh, place uh yes you can uh, the uh, not it cannot prevent all the spam uh, uh, or trolls but it, it it is really helpful then you know you check the the remaining parts I mean those who are uh, uh, not excluded then uh, uh, you, you 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 do your own editing uh, I think to, to a large extent for instance spam folders in emails it, it is um, I check from time to time because there are still problems uh, and I feel like not because of G Google or Yahoo or whatever you use, but because of the local uh, 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 networks, uh, these problems occur. Like uh, 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 among some uh, our correspondence between my uh, colleagues, sometimes uh, our emails are in the spam folder. I don't know why. Uh, if I send if some pe people, they, they can only check it out in, on their spam folder, uh, that, that vice versa. Uh, but I don't think this is uh, directly Google's problem. After thinking at least a year about this, uh, something about our uh, local uh, IT department or something. Anyway, so what I mean is, in some specific uh, uh, fields, 
it 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 there is success there is this collaboration between the spam filter algorithm and uh, the user mm -hmm. uh, but when it, when it goes beyond that you know uh, and maybe there the problem you know uh, and that's exactly the problem in artificial intelligence studies as many said in the literature when we try to go be, uh, 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 reach a general artificial intelligence instead of a specific one uh, we fail miserably i mean maybe at some point in future sometime we will have uh, uh, really uh, human like machines uh, some ai uh, but uh, uh, at least in in practice it doesn't work like that uh, and uh, uh, the, the collaborations between ai and humans seem to be a better productive solution but we tend to maybe because of popular culture of fiction uh, or some utopian leanings uh, we are looking uh, for and also we are very scared of this general ai thinking uh, and then uh, uh, maybe when we try to employ this to our uh, to uh, to fixing problems we cannot fix it uh, but in very limited ways uh, uh, we we are uh, witnessing success i mean uh, facebook was also successful uh, in preventing you know billions of uh, spam uh, comments or uh, uh, content but when where, where it fails is this uh, because humans especially when you uh, look at the new studies on alt-right movements or far-right movements in us they are just innovating new codes that you know when you feed them to the machine it will learn but until it learns uh, uh, the far-right people extremists will just uh, convey their messages you know uh, yeah there is a whole literature on terminology on uh, anti-Semitic uh, uh, terminology, a new terminology probably most of us do not know, new symbology and all. Uh, yes, and when we learn about it, we will uh, uh, feed into the data. But until then, uh, you know, then they will move to another, a, a new set of terms. So there we need always this collaboration, you know, humans and uh, machines in that sense. You will say something or no? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking you're giving me a lot of thoughts and I don't want to intervene. I, I was just thinking um, the way these technologies work, um, that's, that's where the ignorance is. That's where the post-digital ignorance is and, um, um, the, and the way the control of the public understanding of AI, for instance, and the representation of technology or, this, or the representation of AI either by uh, by some i don't know like film industries or in media or even in, in in contemporary arts so this this topic and utopic representations of technology leads how uh, public things and how public understands and how public um attitude uh, um, and behaviors and um, and discourses and action <laughs> most importantly and action um, um realizes so it's a way of control and and we and we know that uh, after the post world war um the second world war uh, these are organized i mean these are not even tactics as you were m mentioning mm -hmm. uh, these are strategies and uh, they uh, these uh, these groups and these integrated industries i would say um they're professionals and 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 the lay persons and it's it's to me it's like a it's like a controversy between the the lay persons and the experts on topic so mm -hmm. uh, as a techno scientific controversy between the lay persons understanding of disinformation uh which is like trying to i mean i'm just now making a um a stupid guess <laughs> from um, departing from my own ignorance i just want to know what's going on and uh, and but from the other side um from these professional experts uh who are actually producing um this information intentionally to reach a purpose um uh, they uh, they have another purpose i mean they're not interested in uh, creating a knowledge i mean they i mean perhaps laypersons don't even exist they're just um, we we are just the, the the laypersons are only the 
the the consumers uh, or the or the or disseminators of this this information. So uh, the public actually uh, plays the role of what uh, what they are given that oh, well, I couldn't say it. Sorry, uh, the we the public the laypersons play that role which are given to them and. That is why we say that uh, this information is is totally related with the control uh, and the control actors and or the assemblage of the, the controlling agencies or the industries. Uh, but this is like the the, the macro problem, and uh, this is not uh, emphasizing the solutions part. Uh, maybe we can go back to 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 the solutions. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I think the the one, uh, you know, so what I was, uh, why I was saying this, this the whole algorithm, artificial intelligence and big data set is, uh, was proposed as a, a solution. And, uh, and I'm saying it's not exactly, but it's, it doesn't mean that it cannot help. Uh, in the meantime, you know, uh, you know the the part that you know everyone can make uh, media can create media means maybe uh, uh, indirectly means the decline of expert uh, 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 and you know uh, the thing is uh, I mean I was mostly critical of experts while I uh, became an expert on of something you know by at it's least because academic. of the authority problem right yes yes uh, the, uh, the authority the, uh, in knowledge production yeah. In uh, in that sense, and uh, uh, and yes, internet really uh, uh, crushed the authorities of, of many expertise types, uh, and I found it is a as a in the beginning as a very democratizing moment. Uh, but, again, I but, can sense the but now. <laughs> yeah, but it seems that uh, uh, we need some kind of expertise. Maybe we need to re re rethink what the expert is, how it functions, but. Yes, there was this maybe some kind of distinction and uh, this uh, authority the, hierarchy. Uh, hmm? Pardon me? Uh, you mean the distinctions among the experts? Uh, no, uh, between the uh, between the lay people and experts, you know, in many fields, let's say. So th there was this big, you know, distinction and hierarchy. So there was, there seemed to be before internet and, and you know, a expert sort of uh, expert domination. So kind of. I mean, it depends on the country again. Uh, for instance, in Turkey, I'm not sure uh, experts will uh, were uh, were really had had a real chance like the U.S. ones had. But uh, 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 apart from the local differences, you know, uh, uh, there was a kind of you know sort of a hierarchy uh, and authority, and like you know. Uh, 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 now you can you can Google about your uh, about some medical issues or um, legal issues, and uh, and sometimes you can be you can find really good stuff. Uh, but you know the the moment you begin to Google, uh, it's it's a challenge to the authority of medical personnel. You know, uh, in the old times we will just ask them or uh, maybe some again uh, some other people like uh, friends we will still ask in Turkey. Uh, 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 but you know the the whole thing is collapsed. Uh, the, this expert uh, uh, paradigm, uh, and now I think it's time to re rebuild uh, an, uh, uh, an a new expert paradigm. But maybe uh, uh, with thinking all the all the previous issues that people were so critical of it, uh, and in the meantime, I think maybe the uh, the the level of expertise may be expanded extended to many lay people too uh, mm -hmm. what internet brings in you know some lay people without the cre uh, uh, formal credentials they can become really experts uh, and they are doing their good job good jobs like uh, we can i will refer them in fact checking especially mm -hmm. you know uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, issue uh, but with that um uh, I think uh, we can have a new uh, 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 level uh, in export paradigm. Uh, that is important uh, because uh, uh, we need someone to also demonstrate the, the sh to show the uh, infrastructure of what we use exactly. Mm -hmm. Like you know, 
that's that's a that's only partially a solution i'm not saying this is the only one but you know uh, even uh, harry jenkins who is very you know without much uh, critical attitude he 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 romanticized uh, participatory culture and i like him in general but uh, but i'm now more critical of him but at some point he was saying you know one of the uh, digital literacy issue is to be more aware of how the system works how yeah. these digital tools work you know uh, uh, until recently like when we uh, look back again to the the, uh, the working of algorithms you know there is there was this black box paradigm that you know uh, we cannot really know how algorithm works there was this uh, intentional attempt to confuse uh, 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 people to learn more about how algorithms work you know uh, it will be said it's a commercial it's a property material that was one one aspect but also you know it is so complicated we cannot understand it you know this is the problem itself and this this makes you uh, now a servant to to uh, algorithmic outcomes without really challenging them but the moment you begin to learn how the algorithm works you don't need to need, know everything of course take there are technical still expertise but uh, now we know, at this moment uh, 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 now it's legitimate to ask how it works you know and uh, even as far as i know some a dutch city uh, asked uh, those smart city applications to re uh, uh, register their you know uh, how it how they work for instance in i think in, in it's one of the dutch cities so uh, it is not that hidden anymore and the moment it uh, becomes more transparent uh, it, 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 it's, it's infrastructure becomes more obvious Mm -hmm. then uh, uh, we are uh, ahead of uh, we are going towards a solution to some mm -hmm. extent mm -hmm. so that's mm -hmm. one thing that i would like to say about and uh, secondly uh, i mean there are many issues but this is one set of issues um uh, i think maybe these uh, when we, we mentioned several uh, times but before that yeah, about fact checking i will first also i want to touch the platform issue Again, I you know, this can come to that point. Yes, because yeah. you were mentioning about the users and the, and the users have a power in platform economy yeah. so that they can criticize and make some demands from from these platforms. Yeah. Yeah. So one thing is uh, 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 for sure. Now it's very obvious that uh, major social platforms, business models are a problem for this information. Uh, in what in what sense in this sense that uh, they need more engagement and uh, in some uh, scandalous stuff or sensation sensation stuff always brings in more engagement i'm of yes. course simplifying their business model and you know uh, 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 using with the day personal data plus this uh, uh, engagement you know, they, even if they don't want, they they lean to uh, disinformation. You know, mm -hmm. now we are talking about not individuals' uh, disinformation, but big, big budgeted uh, uh, or uh, operations. And mm -hmm. in fact, that some studies show that, for instance, you know, uh, automated bots bots are not effective on uh, individual users in a limited Robert amount but is, uh, if you spend good, a so big uh, budget really happy to uh, on automated uh, uh, bots then so, uh, they may have a real role in changing public case, opinion um, maybe uh, we you could provide cultural some and artistic uh, matter uh, in the topic. in the I, public space and i mean i mean for instance in in turkey uh, uh, automated bot usage is a lot, but uh, I couldn't really verify in Turkey that they are really effective. I mean, in our case, political trolls, more organic trolls are more effective. But, uh, you know, the literature mostly shows uh, Russian intervention, you know, like uh, they are like state level, big budgeted, uh, automated bot usage may uh, uh, change some uh, uh, a public opinion like it happened in, during, in uh, Trump's election. Uh, again, of course, um, I saw some 
uh, I mean, trustable material, but th there is also a vilification of Russian intervention. Sometimes it becomes like Russians are uh, uh, portrayed uh, beyond uh, what they are really. So uh, uh, I'm also a bit hesitant about uh, all the literature, but at least it seems like, yeah, they, they are quite effective in using these tools. Uh, so, uh, uh, and you know, if, if your if your business model is based on uh, 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 advertising based on personal data and uh, a disinformation campaign can really benefit from that. Uh, now, what I observe is uh, slightly these big business uh, the social media platforms are looking for new business models. I mean, even I'm thinking now Google Photos uh, is uh, now uh, says, you know, it will charge uh, us. I mean, we, we could uh, uh, upload our photos in, uh, uh, without no limit before, but now it's asking for money. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, I mean, normally Google can just store all our photos. Uh, at some point, I think mm -hmm. they are looking for other models, maybe, mm -hmm. or I'm, I'm just speculating. But I feel it is becoming a big public concern and some uh, regulators, public regulators are in European Union, they are more effective, but even in the US, they are thinking to move against these social platforms. But until then, until some radical changes, uh, their structure still relies on this uh, uh, engagement, personal data usage, and uh, that's uh, really... Uh, big uh, uh, campaigns mm -hmm. so even if they declare that they are challenging um, this information uh, I, I i have difficulties to believe in that not because they are, they are bad people again they are good people maybe they have good intentions but uh, the, their model their infrastructure is just you know feeds this disinformation so this is yeah. beyond uh, individuals. Since you've hmm? been mentioning the the good people and the good intentions, yeah. I mean, I, I you know I have to say that uh, I have to make this quote from Nietzsche that you know the 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 role of the hell is <laughs> yeah, exactly the good intentions. <laughs> well, okay. we see again that Nietzsche was a very big philosopher here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, interestingly, I see it again and again. I mean, normally, you know, when you look at these Silicon Valley people. You know, uh, maybe they, they were okay, young people with naive ideas maybe. Uh, they didn't really care about the rest of the world. and uh, But uh, uh, this just led to uh, a big issue for all the world uh, because of their, you know, habitus, the, the way they live. Um, anyway, so uh, I think this will be, for instance, beyond individual usage, but uh, it, it's a funny thing that uh, social platforms uh, 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 are also uh, based on uh, crowds, basically. Uh, it's They are all crowdsourcing in a way, uh, crowdsourced material, content generation by us. Of course, this doesn't mean that it makes us the rich they are the the owners are this thing uh, uh, you know most of the time uh, these digital rights activists are uh, 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 fighting in vain i mean most of the time they not they cannot change the mainstream public opinion maybe but their activities are built on are building and building so at some point there are some alternatives i mean even some some uh, some uh, small advances like you know this uh, right to be forgotten uh, uh, at least it's employed in europe uh, europe you know is, is i think a consequence of uh, years of activity activism by digital yeah, yeah. rights yeah. creatives mm -hmm. so in that sense I, I you know it it seems vain but it's important to always uh, you know uh, uh, push for uh, for some reforms or changes what i'm saying is uh, i wanted to say that you know there are always alternatives uh, to these social platforms. If you use only, you know, you and I, uh, it won't really change the, uh, the structure. But, you know, if masses begin to use more open source or uh, free software, it will make a, cha a difference. You know, like if there was this uh, uh, the golden age maybe of uh, uh, free software, 
uh, but then you know uh, Facebook and others sort of uh, make them uh, uh, under shadows for a while that doesn't mean free software disappear and in fact even this 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 software we use I think is based on an open soft uh, free software it, uh, 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 and uh, there are many others and it takes on decentralized software production so uh, maybe it is time to uh, to, to to a new to a new uh, wave of usage you know uh, and uh, we have all the tools and i think uh, maybe now we see uh, how people are using uh, these social networks what is what is uh, making them as good is you know and this is like a, a, a user uh, user friendliness and some other uh, consumer practices i think uh, these we can benefit from these all the you know practices experience of the last decade and we can maybe expo uh, ex employ them uh, in in more decentralized uh, uh, software this will uh, uh, nothing will be uh, you know this, as again uh, this is not the only solution but it, it might be a good solution uh, to some extent uh, 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 we know that uh, extremists are also using uh, uh, these decentralized tools or free software but uh, uh, it seems that uh, the, these uh, social platforms uh, um, can make them mainstream, but uh, free, even if they use free software, I don't think they, they will be easily become uh, mainstream like they, they became in the last couple of years. Uh, the the uh, main sort of these, these platforms make them more centralized in a way, uh, may amplify their ideas uh, and so in that sense uh, free software is still there out there for more than three decades they still uh, they are, they, it's it's still a sign of hope i believe in fact you know also the, th the thing is in the last decade internet became so commercialized uh, we sometimes cannot imagine an internet beyond commercialization i'm not against commercialization uh, but just that this this commercialized internet is so dominant now uh, uh, many citizens cannot imagine beyond it but there is and there is a uh, life out there and that can uh, also help uh, to some extent uh, so that's that's another issue uh, that yeah. i would like to underline uh, as a partial solution yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to give the floor to the audience as well. Oh, of course, uh, of course. Time. Um, so we have half yeah. an hour. Um, would you like to like to wrap up or keep up oh, with okay. the audience's okay. commentaries? For, for, for or a wrap up, at least. And maybe with the questions, I can add more. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, the, uh, about the fact checking, you know, this started as a fact checking, uh, started as a sort of an activism. You know, it was a small scale. It was not a big issue and i remember like uh, for instance the turkey has a good example like Teit or you know uh, mehmet uh, its founder was just doing it on on his own twitter account yes and yes. he still had some uh, uh, success you know yeah. even a, an individual attempt uh, will lead to some uh, 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 mainstream success and then he he was he 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 he, be, he made it in a, in a more inf institutional setting, so now it's it's one uh, big uh, good example of uh, doing this. But uh, you know uh, we cannot really rely on just fact checking organizations. I think yeah. there is a good set of uh, fact checking uh, organizations out there, uh, but lay people uh, uh, always uh, we need always sort of uh, uh, everyone every. All all users must be involved because uh, one thing is um, there are many other uh, uh, waves like mainstream news uh, streams that can really act against uh, fact checking. In fact, uh, 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 most of the disinformation comes uh, sometimes uh, above, especially if it is political oriented, and there are major uh, powers that you know uh, stream against your uh, content um, so and fact checking and if you think about it uh, uh, fact checking organizations are always targeted and they are uh, uh, sort of marginalized uh, criminalized 
and uh, uh, but we we support we need to support them but at the same time uh, 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 we need to go beyond them uh, uh, sort of everyone should be a sort of vigilant fact checker in a way so now yeah. as an academic uh, i guess i have to say you know education is important again uh, i know it's very uh, it's very cliche but uh, but but uh, 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 the thing is they are very significant so maybe it's one of the fact checking organizations are still one of the best solutions not a total solution but it is still there it is in, in a global organized by the way like international fact checking network seems to be working quite efficiently uh, but it, it it is not enough uh, as i said uh, go ahead perhaps i can i can i can support your um, argument with my observations um, um, and this will also um, give an insight from a um, socio psychological and economic perspective because when according to my experience at least from turkey mm -hmm. uh, people learn very fast once they need it so the the growth of disinformation uh, according to my observation um, kind of um, intensifies uh, and increase the speed of our learning and persuasion mechanisms so um, I, I, I see that even uh, from my family and my, from my close friends. I mean, I used to tell them to, okay, I was while working with the Pirate Party of Turkey, for instance, at the, at the, in 2010s, we were trying to explain the VPN and its importance and, the yeah. anonymity and open source. You remember those days, yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, in one night, uh, Turkey learned um, the VPN, how to use the the VPN yeah. and the Ebru, technical Ebru, side think, of it. Think, think of signal, you know, this, yeah. this, uh, yeah. you know, it is, it was so marginal. Now, you know, not maybe everyone uses it, but everyone is learn it with, uh, along with Telegram. So yeah. there is this sometimes, you know, if you invest a lot, if you really insist on it uh, as an alternative, uh, people will be really uh, uh, relying on it, using it. Uh, uh, when it becomes a valid uh, alternative. And yes. so fact-checking organizations are right there, you know, that we can rely on it. But, you know, as the, 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 the it is very, we, we have a messy life, I mean, everywhere, not it's about Turkey. What I mean by messiness partly is that even the, uh, those who are producing this information are now creating fact-checking organizations. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's a very, you know, uh, devilish uh, uh, issue. But yes, there are. I mean, there are some fact-checking organizations. They claim to be fact-checking, but in fact, they are uh, uh, they are labeling the, the truthful information uh, as as uh, disinformation. So the struggle never ends. Uh, so we need a sort of a community uh, of users uh, uh, collaborating and. Uh, verifying information and uh, and uh, also we need to check from time to time those who claim to be fact checkers uh, uh, that's a very strange issue but it, it is there uh, and we will see more of them in fact uh, I, I, I should say uh, so uh, so uh, every individual in that sense has to be very, very vigilant uh, uh, yeah and uh, uh, Finally, I think uh, just I would like to add that uh, maybe a few years ago we heard more about Facebook's moderators. You know, there are new uh, uh, fields of employment, like or fields of how can I say expertise, like moderating. And we know that you know Facebook and some other social networks are very critical still, at least until we move to free software. And uh, it's uh, and uh, you know the, the reports about crit uh, investigative reporting about those moderators show that you know they are in a uh, they are living in a state of misery. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean they are uh, uh, you know only they get a very minimum wage, plus they don't get any psychological support. And yes, in fact, you know, these are our. Yeah. <laughs> Pardon me. No, I was just I was just making a joke. I mean, yes, these are yeah, oh, complaints. Yeah, I, 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 
Uh, I'm sorry, I could I missed that while I was thinking. Because you know the thing is, uh, uh, yeah, I I I never told you it before, but you know they are they are exposed to so many hate speech or you know any any stuff that has to be moderated, and they are exposed to this every day for long hours. And you know, Facebook did not provide them any real uh, psychological uh, uh, assistance. Uh, so you know, we need, uh, 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 and so I, I believe after those critical uh, reviews, maybe uh, probably they are uh, uh, providing more more assistance. Uh, but uh, as you see, uh, uh, challenging this information uh, uh, needs to look at uh, many levels of uh, uh, information streams. Uh, yeah. From moderators to to, uh, to other technological solutions, uh, yeah. Uh, are there any questions or? Yes, I was just going to well. ask the same thing. Um, I can't see who's um, who 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 wants to talk, but uh, if you want to talk, the floor is yours. Um, you can just pop in. Uh, by the way, our video cannot be seen at the moment. I am? Uh, yeah, so maybe people will see it later. But uh, I checked out the YouTube stream now. It doesn't work. Uh, anyway, so uh, so I have a little more time. Let me also highlight uh, the blockchain, for instance. That was one of I... my topics. In the... the thing is, you know, again, blockchain emerged as a... Of course, it, it is always... Uh, uh, um, how can I say? When the cryptocurrency uh, prices increase, then we we talk more about like blockchain too. It's sort of it's fate. Uh, of course, you know blockchain is beyond crypt Bitcoin, and it's the it's I I really believe it, it, it's an exciting new technology for uh, uh, conveying information in a more uh, uh, secure way. Uh, it's a new way of organization. Uh, by the way, by the way, uh, uh, video works now. I, 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 I saw in the notes, so yeah, you can still watch it. Um, if we let me check, yeah, maybe maybe the link changed. I don't know. So uh, what? Ah, okay. What I am saying is, ha, huh, okay. There, for instance, um, uh, we uh, at least the ownership problem you know issue may be fixed in blockchain like because it is yeah. it has a structure of Im immutability it's so when uh, you put uh, you upload the content uh, uh, your content will be time stamped yeah. and, and it will be there i cannot change your content and claim that it's mine yeah so yeah. there is this at this level for a specific uh, purpose it works well uh, but again you know uh, uh, the the uh, no information out there is uh, 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 happens in many ways and uh, and uh, uh, this is just one context and for instance the thing is for instance uh, sometimes um, you cannot really upload i'm thinking of this uh, um, what was that registry issues land registry issues mm -hmm. you know uh, georgia the country georgia is praised for that because they made it all on blockchain so you can easily register your land registry like uh, in a few hours and it is immutable it is there it's okay but you know think of turkey you not because we, we lack the technology infrastructure but you know, land registration is a social issue. Uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, how people will fight if the boundaries are field boundaries are set already? You know, there are decades-long uh, judiciary processes on who owns what, or you know, you you, you mean there are political, uh, um, there are, uh, political and uh, uh, social or cultural context codes that you know uh, 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 prevent you to register stuff but at least you know blockchain worked in that worked in that sense uh, it but it didn't provide uh, uh, yet a, a business model for content producing journals uh, and then um, uh, this means uh, uh, it is not used that much there was this civil that uh, which was called civil uh, a media organization it was promoted a lot many mm -hmm. 
uh, uh, important people supported it, uh, but it failed for the moment. But that doesn't mean that uh, uh, there will be another attempt, like especially, uh, which is called interesting poet, like po.et, that's for the uh, content registration. Maybe for copyright issues, it might work. The thing is, you know, if, when others also block, uh, begin to use blockchain, we, we are not sure, like, uh, if you really define who is the first producer will be enough for you to get uh, uh, benefits from it. So it's an open-ended process, again. Uh, there is There are some potentials in some specifics, uh, and maybe also uh, 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 some for some journalists you know uh, uh, payment like through blockchain might be a, a way to help uh, or uh, to keep the to maintain the co uh, content as i said maybe also under regimes of censorship uh, they can transmit their mes uh, message etc so for specific purposes it can work uh, but uh, we are uh, let's see what happens next year. I mean, uh, there aren't many yet very successful examples. Yeah. Yes. 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 Um, is there someone else? Because I can't see. Are we talking like with each other, or uh, uh, I can't uh, really uh, see. If, if let, yeah, if there is no one. I can ask my. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Ask because I think the the, uh, the our video is shown in the uh, Amber Platforms YouTube uh, channel, okay. but the link changed before, so uh, probably many okay. people could not watch it all. all. I can't yeah. really be they sure. They will watch later. Yeah. Well, I was just gonna um, um, make a remark on the issue of trust uh, because it's it's that's uh, why you probably come to the blockchain issue because uh, we mm -hmm. need accountability if we are talking yeah. about democratic participation and uh, public understanding of technology and how we deal with the problems of uh, these um, technological uh, platforms so um, at at least um, during the pandemic as uh, i'm sure everyone has experienced the the, the same thing um how we i i've, I've observed how we um how we found solutions based on uh, based on the trust we have for someone we knew you know um how do you make the decision on migrating to S signal you know which friend of yours or which uh, um, which person or which institution how did you do that or um or the the amount of people which brings us to to the to the majority of the people that you know you know the majority minority problem uh, within decision making process i'm i'm really interested in in, in these and how we react to these um and um and still at least in turkey and i know um other 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 in other cultures as well um we we still need um we someone that we know and we trust yeah uh, so so the, the 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 trust in the the trust in modern institutions have been, uh, have been demolished by this information and uh, this has been achieved by the strategies of the extremists as well so that we need trust to hold on to these industries and leaders and their integrated authority and power. And this cycle uh, seems to me works really well, but we, uh, for those uh, like us who, who are questioning and who are dealing and who are uh, trying to work uh, to develop the, 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 the public participation, um, we're still in this cycle and um, and the trust issue, as uh, you were mentioning, in, in blockchain, yes, in, in some areas could be resolved, but in other areas, I think the world is not ready yet. At yeah. least not uh, not solving the energy problem of blockchain is creating right now. So yeah. going back to this information, and it's it's used by the, by, by the public and it's production by the public, I've also observed that um, uh, people learn how to 
play with this information at least we need we know that uh, we can we can uh, subvert the authority of the 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 content the message of this information in 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 an instantly with a tick with a with a tactical media or, or a gif image or a tactical media work i would say i would mm -hmm. consider them as artworks of contemporary artworks actually for me yeah. i consider them by anonymous contemporary artworks um so um and they play with it and they um users are creating their their own content by making these interventions right exactly i mean uh, maybe it's a cliche but we need a a vigilant co uh, community of users always i mean yeah. uh, uh, you know uh, something is um, uh, is useful uh, any anything is useful as long as we use it in a, yeah. in, a pro in a in a way uh, you know like signal is uh, uh, existing for a decade now maybe or at least 5 6 years but as long as we don't use it it it, it is um, uh, it is nothing, you know, basically. <laughs> and maybe, uh, again, for instance, when people moved from WhatsApp for a while to others, uh, although it was said about uh, security or private data or something, you know, some people just moved to a local version, which has uh, even worse in a personal data uh, usage, etc. So uh, uh, the community is important. And uh, like, like uh, uh, with credible users, uh, if you keep, if you maintain a credible uh, uh, user uh, 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 statue, then I think people believe in you more and more. Like yeah. in those times when when you know as an emergency happens and people ask you for uh, some you know alternatives, they are asking you you know because they they believe you are trusted. This mm -hmm. doesn't mean you know the the recommendation uh, your recommendation will become mainstream. Uh, yeah. But at least it will get more currency, yeah. and it, it yeah. happens all the time. So maybe here we should be all we should always be also be patient, mm -hmm. you know. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, and uh, I I I mean I I think develop this patience for ages now. Uh, and, <laughs> and trust I, the process. Know, <laughs> a decade ago, you know, people would not be using many tools, as you said. You know, uh, now they are using. So it's it's a progress mm -hmm. and. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, in that sense, uh, again, the, you know, the, the blockchain thing, you know, the thing is, uh, um, it was promoted as a trustlessness uh, uh, instrument that, you know, you don't need these financial uh, institutions uh, uh, in between, etc. But the yeah. thing is, blockchain is, can be only effective if it is used by a community. Yes. Uh, uh, we humans attribute a, a, a value to that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Uh, that's a that's a very interesting thing because it was exactly against the, the human intervention that you know mm -hmm. so let's have a system with no intervention that you know we can send uh, a valuable data from one to another person but in the end it is you know as long as uh, uh, we use it it gains some kind of uh, uh, prominence uh, that's mm -hmm. that's interesting and all the uh, uh, cryptocurrency, for instance, circles are only uh, become more effective if they are really uh, if they have a living uh, community that you know of users, uh, uh, or the, they will just disappear. Yeah, in the yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I, I totally agree. Maybe for your last remark, I can ask mm -hmm. for a, a student. Uh, uh, I can ask a question for my students and sure. for myself actually for researchers. Okay um uh, what would you recommend um to research um um to make it to conduct the research on a disinformation topic like for instance we're adopting this topic called um disinformation about the vaccines in turkey yeah um what what is your experience in that and uh, what would you recommend um especially for those um um, social scientists, artists who do not have uh, a strong technical background, or what is your experience? I mean, in what sense? Like, uh, uh, what are you asking exactly there? Like uh, a method, uh, or like? Yes. What? I mean, uh, it is not a uh, maybe not right one, but 
uh, for me, for instance, it's in my agenda that I would like to look at uh, the closed private groups. Yeah. You know, the, yeah. the public ones, interestingly, in general, we have the disinformation problem, but at least in, in the, for the COVID-19, yeah. it seems that there is more awareness for the, uh, for, uh, among the social platforms too. Yeah, uh, but they are aware as uh, as much as uh, you know about the publicly available data. They can eliminate it, uh, maybe uh, slowly. Close but, uh, private groups, meaning yeah. like my, I mean WhatsApp uh, groups, high groups in WhatsApp or in Signal. Or, yes, um, all yeah. all of them. I mean, from Telegram groups to WhatsApp to Facebook. Yeah. You know, when they become private or secret, uh, it's uh, harder to. Uh, uh, eliminate the data so i i recommend some kind of ethnographic uh, yeah, uh, yeah, some yeah. field work yeah. you know some digital field work there to mm -hmm. to really monitor what's going on uh, okay. uh, i i mean uh, you know for the if you report a publicly available content it will be fixed mostly you know now yes. it seems they are very quick but what about the private uh, dealings yeah. you know what goes on there all these yeah. high school uh, uh, you know, high school groups or etc. So uh, I'm also like uh, thinking of what to do with that. I have some mm -hmm. maybe in, in a few months uh, I will do some kind of research, uh, like so kind of an uh, ethnography in in those groups. If I could access, have access. I have some. Ex I have access to some, and I I need to add more groups. That's that. That's an interesting thing. I, as far as I know, this is one of the hot topics in, in the yeah. fact-checking circles at the moment too, because mm -hmm. most uh, most um, uh, misinformation or disinformation content first uh, created Spreads. there, then you know uh, yeah. amplified in others. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that is also uh, matches mm -hmm. with my observation as well. Let oh. me know if you would like to collaborate or if you need sure. some <laughs> second sure. hands. Yeah. We can also support your research too. Sure, thank you. All right, I think cool. we've come to the end. Uh, Let me hear yeah. if, whether there is another voice. I think there is not a voice. Okay. All right then. Thank, thank you, you very much for the invitation. I hope I was helpful. Ah, oh, it's been it's been a, such a pleasure always to talk with you. Thank you. Bye bye then. Bye bye everyone, and thank you for joining us. See you.